Hey guys, so today I'm going to be introducing you guys to uh, our web development from scratch course. So essentially the idea behind the course is we want to take someone who has very little or no knowledge of web technologies and web development to becoming someone who we can call an engineer, someone who can actually build a project who can work in a real professional environment. So at the heart of our course, we're going to actually be focusing on this technology called Ruby on Rails. Now, Ruby on Rails is a web framework, which means it's a tool that uh, one would use to build any kind of web application. So over here, I have a few examples. Um, one of the most successful uh, applications today is called Basecamp. So Basecamp is actually where Ruby on Rails got started. It's the first project that's ever used Ruby on Rails, and it's an amazing piece of software. Um, if you guys want to see more projects, just head over on to the page that I'm on. Have a look at the links. Um, you see some of the very uh, awesome household names that you know we know and love today, like Twitter, um, you know, Groupon, Living Social, and whatnot. Um, if you scroll down, you see many more companies. Um, that have used Rails and become extremely successful, made a lot of money. And uh, as we go into the course, you will understand why these companies chose Rails. So one of the core things that makes Rails such a charming framework is the actual programming language that is used to build it. So a lot of people get confused about Ruby and Rails and you know, what's the difference between the two? Essentially, Ruby is a programming language. Rails is the web framework. Essentially, Ruby on Rails is the web frameworks that's built from the Ruby programming language. So if we're gonna learn Rails, we have to know the Ruby language. And as a part of the course, we're gonna be covering some of the basics, some of the key concepts in the Ruby programming language and uh, you're gonna see why it's such an amazing language. It's the only language that has, has a philosophy that um, it's built for programmers' happiness. So along with learning the Ruby programming language, we're gonna be covering Git. Git is a version control system, and uh, it's basically the tool that um, is you know, the, one of the backbones of many of the most successful companies today. Um, if you want to see what companies are using Git, scroll down uh, at the home page and you'll be able to see um, you know, which of these companies you know, that you've heard about that are using Git. So there's a lot of them and uh, Git is extremely popular. So Git solves the problem of, um, let's say for example, you're working on a project with a friend um, and you're written some changes to a file and your friend writes a change to a file and you guys overwrite each other's change. So you know, Git solves that problem for you. Along with that, it comes with a lot of other features like uh, keeping your code backed up, you know, so whenever you need to go back to a revision or a version, if you need to find out who worked on which file, you can do that very easily with Git. Basically, it's just a way for you or your team to work on a source code with perfect harmony. So once we've grasped the basic concepts behind Git, uh, the next thing we're going to be taking a look at is uh, GitHub. Basically what GitHub is, is uh, where your code is going to live. Um, you can have your code living on your computer, but you know the best way to keep your code safe and backed up and allow other people to even collaborate and comment on your code is through GitHub. That's why we've actually integrated GitHub into our learning management system. Um, recommend you guys go over to GitHub, sign up for an account. Um, if it seems overwhelming, don't worry. Uh, we're going to be taking you very slowly through GitHub and getting you set up and you know showing you how everything works. As starters, just sign up for a free account and uh, we'll go from there. So at the end of the day, um, building a web application, you're just outputting HTML pages, right? So it's a very important uh, thing that you know how to structure HTML pages. So as a part of the course, we'll actually be covering 
um, HTML and CSS, but in the context of a framework called Twitter Bootstrap. So essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to integrate Twitter Bootstrap into our course, and you'll be learning to use Twitter Bootstrap to build some basic pages. And once we build those uh, basic pages, we are going to be looking at the concepts behind HTTP. So when you actually type in that HTTP in your browser, what does it actually mean? What is it actually doing behind the scenes? How is it actually going to the server and getting those pages? We're going to be looking at that and we're going to be studying these concepts through a framework called Sinatra. So Sinatra is a web framework very much like Rails, however it's much simpler and much smaller uh, which is why it's perfect for uh, if you're trying to learn the anatomy of how a basic HTTP request works. So once we've got all those uh, concepts out the door and we understand the foundation and the basics, uh, we can actually get started. So what we're going to actually do after we learn all those stuff is we're going to actually start to build a project. And this is essentially the project that we're going to build. It's basically a shopping cart. Um, we're going to take you through the process of building a database. Um, we'll talk about what feature the shopping cart should have. Um, from there, we'll take a look at how those features translate into database architecture. We'll actually be drawing out the database before we're actually starting to, to build. So this, is, uh, this, this project that you're looking at right now is built with Rails from scratch, right? with Twitter Bootstrap as the front end. So it's got some really nifty features. It's got some stock management, right? It's got a basic search. So uh, customers can actually search uh, through products um, using categories or text search, um, as you see up there. And uh, we'll be taking a look at um, signing in, uh, signing up, customer sign in and sign up, uh, account management, um, we'll be taking a look at how we can design the actual product page, the individual product page. Taking a look at generating the invoice. Once the order has gone through, how do we uh, generate the invoice uh, in PDF format for the customer to print out? Um, we're going to take a look at you know, order history so we, the customer can see um, what he or she has ordered and you know, always go back and check the status of each order print the invoice, you know, all that kind of stuff. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at building the actual cart. So, um, you know, the checkout process and, and all that stuff. So if you want to actually see, you know, the, the features and the, the, the things behind what we're actually going to build, have a look at the course outline. It's got much more detail. Um, and uh, hopefully, you know, this gets you excited about the course. And uh, we're extremely excited to meet you. Um, you know, we want you to guys, you guys to come in, you know, learn as much as you can, become a professional, you know, right now, like the world needs programmers. Um, and uh, essentially what we want you to be is to become successful. You know, if you want to have your own startup, you know, build your own company or uh, work in a company of your dreams, you will need these skills to get there. And uh, we are here to help you get there. So hopefully we'll see you guys in class. Thank you.